technical difficulties in the last video but i am here now i'm back again all right so my name is jessica i am a event planner with environment affairs events in the core also i am a, a creator i'm a crafter for vibrant gifts with jesse or by Jesse, and I also make tutus and blingies and everything. And I also do a bunch of other things that I have businesses for, which one is candy cover treats with a twist, which I just had open this week. Okay, so I do so many different things that I have decided to go ahead and get a YouTube video and go live with what I'm about to show you guys that I just made today. My husband and I have put it together. And it is awesome. And it is my very own. And it's outstanding. It is a balloon stuffer. My very own balloon stuffer that I've made myself with my husband. I've spray painted it purple because it's my favorite color, along with silver, which is another favorite color of mine, silver glitter. All right, so I'm going to give you guys a rundown on how I made it, how my husband helped me to make it as well. You guys can see, hey, you uh, Facebook. I'm on Facebook on two platforms right now, okay? So, hey, Facebook, how are you guys? All right, so what I'm going to tell you guys first, and I'm going to write this down on my on my description below. Guys, when you come in, say hello or like and subscribe to my channel, please. Okay, so I can get some value. Somebody else can get some value off of it, okay? You guys, hi, Facebook, YouTube, guys. Please like, share so somebody else can get value because I know somebody else needs it. A lot of people have been asking me to make it, and I did go ahead and make it today. Which I'm not done yet, but I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like from right now. Okay, so these are the materials that I got from a certain video that I watched on YouTube, as well as um, other videos. I've watched a whole lot of videos. I have been studying a whole lot, getting that stuff out, paying me, and getting it all together. So I got a five gallon. Let me let me take it apart so you guys can see what I'm talking about. I got a five gallon. This is my five gallon bucket. Okay. I also have a three by four inch PVC pipe, which we had to cut because it doesn't, they don't cut it for you. And this is the part. This is the PVC pipe. Okay. This is the PVC pipe, guys. Okay. Then I also got a three by four inch by five feet. Um, okay, that was it. The um pipe. Okay, that was a discount. Okay, sorry. <laughs> a 10 ounce uh, blaster silver. Okay, that's a, that's the this, this spray paint here. And then I got the adapter. This is an adapter. This is a, uh, it's called a, an adapter, a water adapter. Okay. This is a different one. The other one is kind of copperish. And it's a three by four as well. Um. And a five gallon. Or wait a minute. Did he put that in? Okay, so then the top. This is another uh, th uh, four inch round attachment. Okay. So now I'm going to go ahead and show you guys that this part here, this middle part, is movable. You can move it, you can take it out. As you can see, this also, it should have two holes like this. As you guys can see, the little hole is for the for the three, for the pipe, the half a pipe. Then you got the adapter here that is for sucking in the air. So when you suck in, the air is going to come through. And when you push it out, it's for pushing it out. So you should be able to push out the air. And that this part 
here that you're attaching to this pipe, this package pipe, PVC pipe, you should be able to blow the hair out into the pipe and it should go into the bucket. Okay, so we're gonna put this part here, we're gonna put this here, and we're gonna seal it. You have to push it down in order to get it through, okay? So then you're gonna take this part here, okay? You can take this off or you can leave it on, but you can take this part and this is the part that you're gonna be pulling, putting your putting your balloon in, okay? So we're gonna take the balloon. Here's a big balloon, 18 inch balloon, gallic, the galatics or galatics, and we're gonna make the balloon. You wanna stretch it out as much as possible, okay? You wanna take the balloon as much as possible and you wanna put it on. And I think this one is gonna be better because it's not gonna break the balloon like the most, most of the ones that I've had already. It has been treacherous with the balloons. Oh Lord, it's just been a, a, a total crazy with the balloons, but I'm gonna take it out. Oh, okay, so then, I'm sorry, I forgot the epoxy. You need the epoxy to seal around the rim, okay? So what we're gonna do is, I think it's open. I hope it's open. Right. And I'm gonna do another video. I just just practicing right now on how to make another one. So you guys can see what I'm doing. So this epoxy, as you can see, is like a cement. And this is kind of bright. So I don't know if this is cement and some some cement tubing, okay? And I guess you have to break the seal. Yep, that's what you gotta do. You gotta break this seal that comes out through the side, through the middle. See, it goes in here, comes out. And you gotta break that seal. So let's break the seal. And the seal is broken. Seal is broken, you guys. I'm gonna move this a little bit closer so you guys can see what I'm doing. And hopefully y'all can hear me because my computer acts up, okay? So it's open already. Okay, so now I'm gonna seal around. And this is gonna go all around. I'm gonna push, there it is, push, continue to push, and you're gonna go around, and you're gonna go around, and then you're gonna take a stick, and you're gonna stick, you're gonna put the epoxy so it can seal. You wanna make sure that there's no air going into the bucket because that lets out, uh, that lets out the, um, the air out of it. Okay, so you want to stick it there, push it in, continue to do that. It's gonna get messy, but you gotta clean it up as you go. I'm just doing this, and I think that's enough right there. Take a stick. I'm a crafty person, so I'm gonna have sticks all over the place. But take it and maneuver it. Move it around, 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 around. And it's gonna look yucky. And of course it's gonna look just nasty. It's stinky too. I'm a stinky. Whew, it stinks. As you can see, here you go. Okay. And then you're gonna take the you're gonna take the stick also. This stick, you might not wanna do this because you might not you might not know if it's gonna stay there. But I think I'm gonna leave mine out because like mine. I'm going to be able to take it out and put it in, take it out and put it in, see? And you don't have to worry about that, see? Bam. But what you really want to do is, since this valve is here, you do want to put, I think you're going to want to put a little bit on there. But we'll see. I don't think any air is going to get out of there, actually. But we never know, right? Okay. So there goes your epoxy. Your epoxy goes on to the... And if that's gonna dry. So what you are what are probably gonna do is get a rag, get a rag and clean around it so it could be clean, okay? Give me a moment, please. Thank you. All right, 
I'm back again. Okay, so you take a little bit of piece of paper, okay? Clean around. Try to make it as clean as possible. It's kind of gooey. But what you want to do is you go around and go around and just clean up the excess. Clean up the excess, okay? And that should stay, this part should stay in here all the time. It should not come out. You should not have to take it out. Okay, that's why I got a bigger one because I figured that my hand is big. And for me to be able to stuff the balloon with my arm, a three inch wasn't going to do it for me. So I decided to go ahead and just get a four inch and just roll with it. Okay, let me just dispose of this one. I will be right back. Let me move this over here. I'm going to use it more than enough. <laughs> All right, so it's here now. So, okay, so again, let's reiterate what I just went through so you guys can know what I'm going, what I'm saying. A five gallon bucket with the lid and the lid also has a bubble in the middle where it is for sealing, okay? Then I got a, a, a three fourths or four inch top of PVC, the big tub part here on the, the top part. This is what. This is what's epoxy to the to the top, and it was made a, a hole was made so you can guys can you know so you guys can be able to stuck stick your hand in. Okay, then you got a half inch pipe, half inch PVC pipe cut to the to the length of the bucket. Okay, it's cut to the length of the bucket, so it'll be it'll go right down. Okay, then I got a different water valve. This is a water valve. The water valve, what it does is that once you once you're stuck in, you can't suck in. Okay, so that means that the air is gonna stick right inside. Okay, this one has like a little push button, and then when you blow, it's gonna it's gonna put all the air inside of the balloon, the balloon part. Okay, so this is why this is there. Okay, so it goes right in there. Okay, so now what we do is. We take the balloon. Once this is sealed, which is not sealed yet because it's not closed all the way, I haven't closed it. What we're going to do is stick the balloon, 18-inch quadratics, 18-inch quadratics. You're going to take the balloon. You're going to open the balloon. And again, I'm going to get, I'm going to be getting the tool to open up the balloon as well. But you want to take the balloon and stretch it out as much as you can. Okay, take it and... Put it over the opening. Whoops. <laughs> Take it and put it over the opening, which is a pain in the butt. It's honestly speaking. Let's just go there. <laughs> I get I get frustrated, but you know what? It's gonna happen for me. It's gonna happen. It's gonna happen for me. I know it. All right, let's do this again because this thing is. Take the paper, wrap it. Let's wrap it around the uh, stick. And this is my first video on YouTube with this kind of stuff, okay? So bear with me. Thank you so much, you guys. You guys always help. All right, that was excess. Okay, so now we take the balloon again and we stretch the balloon out. Stretch it out. Not breaking it, but just stretching it out, okay? Okay, let's try it again. Put it over, over the opening. <laughs> it's giving me such a hard time. I think it's because it's too wide. But let's just try it out, okay? Stick your fingers inside of it. Maybe that'll be better. So I said, it's like I said, this is gonna be my very first one without the tool that I need. And of course, you don't wanna break the balloon. They tend to break, but of course, you know, it's your first one. It's all good. Right? What you want to do is take the balloon and spread it open to where it's going to go on top of this hole here. Okay. And I'm really trying. So let me lower. Maybe it'll be better if I lower. Let me go ahead and do that. Okay. So you're taking the balloon. Again, this is my practice balloon, so I'm not really worried about it. 
I see the balloon in. It's not it's not fastened, so don't worry about it. I almost had it. Almost had it, you guys. It's all good. It's all good. Keep trying. Keep trying. You'll get it. It's going to get sticky now. Ready right again. Let me see my hands. It's kind of greasy. And this, this balloon broke, of course. Try this one again, then. See, you have to be very careful. This one is wide. And I am about to go get ahead and get the, the other tool that I need to be able to do this. But again, let's try to open it, place it. Ouch, that hurt. Again, this is what happens when you go live. But once you get it down, I mean, it's going to be so much easier, you guys. Okay. I don't want to step in my feet. Oh, Lordy. Let me take this part out. I'm having a, such a hard time with it. It's all good. Okay. Maybe it'll work where. I hope everybody's having a good Saturday. I hope everyone is having a great Saturday. I know I did. When I went to go get my stuff, I was like, yay! This is awesome. Okay. Try it again. I'm gonna try it again. And again, until I get it over. Yes! 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 <laughs> I got my balloon in! You guys! <laughs> Look at that! <laughs> Look at that, you guys! Look at that! Beautiful, and that is what it's supposed to look like. The inside is supposed to be like that. Okay, it took me forever, but I got it through. Thank you, Jesus. And now you see the balloon on the outside, and I used to be seeing the balloon on the inside. Then, when you put it there, it should go like that, and then you put that there, and you stick the pump on top of here to be able to get the air into it. Okay, so. Let's try that out, which I haven't finished doing the, uh, this is going to be like the hard thing because we got to hammer it down. But as you guys can see, and I just broke it, of course, I'm going to try it again. But see, this is what's going to happen. It's going to break. So sometimes you're just going to miss. So let's slow down. Let's try it one more time, okay? And this is gonna be my third balloon. And I'm gonna stretch it out as much as possible. But I had it. <laughs> for some reason, I didn't, I had it for a little bit of a time, okay? So now let's do it again. Open it. Use your fingers to open it. If you don't have the tool, because there is an expanding tool, okay? And then keep it there for a minute. 
And another way you could do it too is by filling it with air and letting it be filled with air for a minute. Like for five minutes. That's another way to do it. I forgot that one. Five minutes. Okay. Open, open, open. That's a good exercise. This is a good exercise. For your arms. Dad, dad. Get it. Get it. All right. Let's try it again. Over. I think I'm just going to go ahead and start doing it without the ball up there. All right. Over it. I know what it is, too. I know what it is. Jeez, this is kind of hard, dude. Like, especially with this one. I'm like, what? This one's much smaller, so I can't use that one. Try it again. And you might get it, like, at the third or fourth time, but you're going to get it, though. And again, there is a tool that you could use to do this. It's a much easier tool than having to use your hands because your hands are getting tired after a while. Okay? Again. Again. And again. Trial and error, you guys. Trial and error. This is craziness. <laughs> Again, this is just my practice. I always do a practice before I do the full thing so you guys can see it better. And it will get to it, it will get to that point, okay? So don't worry, don't get stressed out about it. Going all the way in. Stretching it out. I'm going to stop for a minute, let it get a little bit of a, and then extending again. Let's try the way, the other way. That's the case. All right, guys. Well, you guys get the picture, right? You guys have to put the balloon on the outside of this. Here it is. And this is how it goes. You put that balloon, like you guys saw it. You put the valve there. This is the way it goes, okay? And if I, when I get that balloon in there, I'm gonna go ahead and show it again so you guys can see what I did, okay? And then I'm gonna do my very own stuffed balloon with this new invention that I just created from somebody else, okay? All right, guys, this is my new little creation, the balloon stuffer creation by Jesse. And here it is. And now, to get it sealed and done and over with. And here it is, my very own, my very own balloon stuffer. And I have the uh, description, and I'm going to put the description of what it was that I got so you guys can get the stuff to make it. And I'm going to also show you the new tool. It's a tool that has been around for the balloon stuffers as well. It's like an expander. So you take that expander, and it's like two, two handles. And the handle expands it where it makes a circle way bigger, and it decreases it. When you decrease it, it makes a circle smaller, which makes the balloon go easily on the top okay so i thank you guys for coming on and watching me do this trial and error okay it's not perfect yet but it will be and once it's perfect then you guys can see the total package okay so i thank you guys for watching thank you guys for being here please share please share please share thank you guys happy saturday and god bless you guys bye you guys